Good day, do-it-yourselfers and fellow technicians. Today we're gonna be swapping out a thermostat for a heat pump system. We are gonna be putting in the Focus Pro 6000 programmable thermostat. First thing you wanna do before messing around and removing the old thermostat is to kill the power to the HVAC unit, the heat pump. You don't want the red wire, the power wire, hitting any metal, shorting out your transformer. So just kill the power, make sure it's off, and then proceed to remove the old thermostat. So some of the tools that are gonna help you replace this thermostat, 11 and one screwdriver, wire strippers, small flathead screwdriver for tightening the connections in the thermostat, and of course the drill, just to make things faster. Now, before you go wiring in the new thermostat, what I always do is I check the wires. See right here, there's some little bit of bare wire on that yellow. Um, we've got a little bit of room, a little bit of thermostat wire left, so we want to clean that up. This is a nice, clean install. We don't want anything rubbing when we put on the new thermostat, shorting anything out. Here, the blue wire has a little bare bareness there. We want to clean all that up. So on this particular installation red is our power green is our fan yellow is our compressor blue is for our heat pump now on many applications blue is normally the common wire but the heat pump that we're working on today is 20 years old and the color coder engineer decided that he didn't want to use common for the blue wire instead the common wire is gonna be the brown wire in this application. We're not gonna hook that up today. We're just gonna hook it up with the batteries. If you guys want a, uh, another video on what's the common wire, how to hook up a common wire to a thermostat, just let me know and I can make a video on that. But for today, we're just doing the basic install of the thermostat with batteries as the main source of power. So I just had a question. Um, how do you know which wire is which? Now in the installation manual of your thermostat, you're gonna see stuff like R, Y, W, um, C. That doesn't mean that's the color of the wire. It should be the color of the wire in a perfect world, but usually it's not. So my red is my power. I know my red wire is my power because if I follow this block up, it's gonna go to the part of the transformer right here at the red block. That's my power. Okay, over here behind this, I've got a black wire, that's my common, because that's the other end that's coming off my transformer. My yellow wire, Y, goes right to the compressor contactor. My blue wire goes right to the changeover valve back there. And my green wire goes to the green fan relay. So that's how you know what wire is what and if you have any doubts you need to look at your wiring diagram i know sometimes these can be tough to read if you're not used to reading diagrams but most systems are set up to where the yellow wire is the compressor the green wire is the fan the blue wire 
is usually the common. In this case, it's gonna be the heat pump changeover valve and our brown is gonna be common. And the red is your main 24 volt power end. Make sure all your wires are tight. We got green for fan. We got blue for the changeover valve. Y for the compressor. Red for the power coming in. You wanna keep this jumper in here. The only time you remove this jumper is if your system uses a two transformers for heat and cool, which is very rare in most residential applications. Next step is to put the batteries inside of the thermostat. Pretty self-explanatory. And with the Honeywell Focus Pro 6000, the default programming mode is going to be one heat one cool, conventional. But we're using a one heat, one cool heat pump in this application, so we have to program this thermostat to work with the heat pump. So the way that you get into the program mode is you hold the fan button and the up button at the same time. Do that for about one to two seconds, and then you're gonna see a one right here, and then a zero. That zero needs to be changed to a one. Once you do that, you can hit done. If you look in the installation manual, it'll give you more options in the programming mode, such as compressor protection, temperature display, um, max, minimum, temperature set to, etc. But um, that's for y'all to mess with if you want to. This is just a basic under this is just a basic installation. But once we got that in and we've got it programmed. We can go over and turn our power back on. And before you walk away, it's always best to just test it out. And you'll see the little blinking light right there. That just means it's on compressor lockout and it's gonna be about five minutes before it kicks on. But I just turned the fan on, fan's working good. I'm gonna let this uh, heat kick on. If you need any more information about programming the thermostat, the Focus Pro 6000 comes with this handy little guide and the cool thing about this guide is you can fold it up just like so and there's a little slot right back here where you can slide it in and it's not really an eyesore or anything kind of looks like it's meant to be there. And if you ever have any questions or need to go back and program your thermostat, you've got the instructions right there. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave any comments if you have any questions or concerns or easier ways to do this. Um, if you want me to make future videos on hooking up the common wire, just let me know. Till then, see you all next time.